Hey guys, it's your girl Tamkin Spice and I'm here to, well, I'm here looking a little bit raggedy, but I'll explain myself. I just had a shower. This is a makeup free face right now. This is a fresh face. So I'm bearing it all for you guys. I wanted to do a quick check-in. I know that some of you have already seen my video for Latisse and I did kind of like a, you know, six month before and after review. Check that out if you haven't seen it already. But right now I am going to show you guys how I can take a one month bottle of Latisse and make it last six months. So generally Latisse is about $75 for a one month supply or $150 for a three month supply. Sometimes you can see like deals on Groupon and stuff to get other prices, but in general, those are kind of standard prices. Let me show you what I'm doing. Before I show you what I'm doing to hack, I wanna show you what Latisse as a brand wants you to do. This is my bottle of Latisse. This is a three month supply. It is a five milliliter bottle of Latisse. I have been using this Latisse since the beginning of quarantine and it's almost been a year. Don't you worry, ladies. This bottle was prescribed to me in February of 2020. The expiration date on it is for March of 2022. It's like two years. I just wanna let you know that you can actually make your Latisse go a lot longer. I started doing this recently, let me show you. Normally, Latisse will send you this bottle with these applicators. You already know this, so why are you here? These applicator brushes, let me show you how stupid these applicator brushes are. Look at this brush. Do you see how big this brush head is? Look, that is like a freaking eyeshadow brush. Like I could like put eyeshadow on. I could even like put like a little bit of highlight under my eyebrow with this. Let me just go ahead and contour my nose. This brush is huge. Latisse asks you to put one drop of product into this big ass brush and then wipe it against your lash line, right? So what is happening? The product is getting completely absorbed into this brush head and you're barely just like damping a little bit of product onto your eye. It's not a good situation. You're wasting money. Honestly, I'm just like, these companies just want you to throw your money away. And like, listen, all this stuff adds up. Latisse, Botox, filler, cosmetic surgery, laser procedures, radio frequency, all this stuff is money, man. Like I, I can't afford all of this if I don't have these hats. One of the things that you might see on YouTube is people telling you to flip this brush and drop your Latisse. <laughs> drop your Latisse onto the stick end and balance the little drop on the stick end and you know use the stick end to apply the Latisse. I also think that that's kind of stupid because the drop like kind of hangs on there. Sometimes you drop it on the floor and then also it gets like all over your eye as you're trying to like do this. Like you, the more it spreads over your eye, you can see I have a lot of darkness in my lash line. Okay, I have tattooed eyeliner, okay? But the darkness in my lash line is not a crisp line of my tattoo. It's like like legit like darkness under my eye. A lot of this is also caused by the bimatoprost solution touching my eye. Let me tell you what I've been doing recently and this hack is gonna cost you $6 and save you a couple hundred. Don't worry ladies, the products are linked below. I don't know what the hell these are called. These are like tiny, tiny, tiny lash applicators. Let me show you. I bought these for like $6 on Amazon. There's like 300 of these that come in a package for $6. This is a package of 100. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. It's so tiny. It's like a tiny, I don't know if you can see it tiny little felt tip it's really really like it's just like felt it's almost like velvet the little tip so it has tiny tiny little bristles just to hold it and then what i do is i take my latisse and you know how they say do one drop per eye whole big ass drop per eye no i take this latisse and i just not even a drop half a drop boom half a drop it fills it up the felt and the velvet is holding it. Close my bottle. And then I just, right along the lash line, I touch it. It's like you can feel like a lot of moisture. It's not like when you do it with the Latisse brush. You feel like really, really cold and wet. And then I start on the outside and I work my way in and I actually like go into my lash line with it. You can actually see the moisture there. It's still wet. So with whatever is left, I go on my lower lash line. Normally you're not supposed to, but you know, I don't give a shit. I'm trying to make my money go far. And there, it's still wet. So the rest of it, I just kind of touch on my eyebrow and touch a little bit on my the balding areas of my head. 
having spent these six dollars i have i mean it's been a year i'm still using this don't worry it's not expired instead of spending 75 dollars a month on latisse you can spend 75 dollars a year on latisse and have long thick full eyelashes I, I don't have any mascara on i don't know if my lashes look like they're long thick and full but they are okay they are let me know what you guys think if you're gonna be trying this out, leave me a comment below and let me know. I'm gonna link the product, it's only six bucks. I mean like, just buy it off Amazon. I think it might be like even cheaper on eBay. I'll see if I can link the eBay one for you too. But if you do this with your Latisse and you stop doing this, okay, let's compare side by side. Oh my God. Look at this big ass brush next to this tiny dot of a felt like brush. So you can see the difference, right? Like this is like this huge like fanning brush. I'm like pressing it against my forehead so you can see it versus this like a little dot of felt so this is not going to suck up that moisture of the latisse this is going to hold the moisture and transfer it to your lash line this is going to suck up all that latisse moisture this is going to suck up all the drugs that you've paid for and you are going to throw this in the trash with your two drops of latisse with it every single day and you know what they want you to do they're crazy these latisse people are crazy okay they want you to use a separate brush for each eye, which I understand, right? I understand that they want you to not, you know, it's a sterile brush. They don't want you to transfer any infection that could be in one eye to the next eye. I get it, I get it, dude, I get it. But you are using this big ass brush, you can put one drop on it, throw it out, get another clean dry brush, put another drop on it, throw it, you can barely get any product on your eye. Instead, you know what you can do? You can use a separate one of these for each of your eye and still not waste as much product as you would using the brush. What you do is instead of half a drop like you saw, take a quarter drop, just dab it. You're not gonna waste product when you use this microscopic applicator. Try it out, tell me what you think. If you haven't seen my Latisse video, check out my Latisse video, I'll link it here. I talk about how I got longer, thicker, darker eyelashes over the course of six months. I do wanna tell you guys that I took a break from Latisse for a little bit. I stopped using it after six months because I got lazy. It's not that I didn't have the product or that I couldn't afford it, I just got lazy. I did notice after about like two, three weeks, the long lashes were at the end of their growth cycle and they started to fall out. Don't be scared. I don't mean started to fall out like, oh my God, I had no lashes left it's just that they were starting to go back to their normal length they weren't you know producing extra long eyelashes like they used to be that's all i have for you today so if you like videos like this if you like tools and tech for body and beauty please consider subscribing it will really really help me and I just want to thank a couple of you guys, especially for being really great followers and supporters and subscribers and like, you know, engaging with my videos. And it means a lot to me because every time I try one of these products, I go and I scour YouTube for videos and I really, really look for people that look like me that I could, you know, gauge my expectations with. And I really haven't found very many. So I'm hoping to be the difference I want to see in the world. I want to be the change that I want to see in this world. And your support helps me go a lot further. So I just, I appreciate it. I want to take a second to thank you for it. And if you have any additional ideas for videos that I should be making, leave me a comment below. And um, I actually legit will take it into consideration. I'm not messing around, okay? Have a wonderful day, guys. I hope to see you at my next video. Bye. A little bit of background information just in case you're still wondering what is Latisse? What is Bimatoprost? Bimatoprost is a medication that is marketed under the brand name Latisse. It is an FDA approved medicine to treat inadequate eyelashes, which is also known as hypotrichosis. Bimatoprost is also sold as Lumigan, which is a glaucoma treatment. But one of the things they discovered is when treating patients with bimatoprost for glaucoma, one of the side effects was longer, thicker, darker eyelashes. So if you use Latisse daily along your lash line, you will actually notice after 16 weeks that you will have longer, thicker, darker eyelashes. You gotta use it for at least two months to see some results. Some of the side effects, because there's always side effects, redness, around your eye area where you apply Latisse, itching and redness along your lash line, dryness of your eyes, darkened eyelids, which is actually something that I have experienced. I've got darkness around my eyelids because I've been using Latisse for almost a year now. And then also, this is an interesting one, darkness in your iris. So some people, if you have blue eyes or green eyes, you may notice that your eye color starts changing into a more hazel or amber color over time. But I have talked to a couple people who have had this happen 
And once they stopped using the Latisse, their eyes did go back to the original color. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Another thing is random hair growth around your eye from Latisse, which hasn't happened to me, but I mean, hey, again, I am no doctor, so please do your own research. I'm here to help you. Thank you for watching and listening. Bye, guys.